Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is my Yamaha P27 turntable which I put on eBay for sale. Uh, I would like to demonstrate that uh, this has scratches on the dust cover. The dust cover is free of cracks, so there's no cracks whatsoever on it. However, there are scratches in different places. The table is very clean. There are no drastic scratches on it with a vintage turntable. All the little weights are still in my possession, haven't been lost over the years. Adjusts very easily, comes with the uh, adapter, 45 adapter. Okay, on this table, this is uh, like an entry level turntable. It's, it's not a fantastic turntable, but it's very well made. It's uh, generally, as it comes from the factory, it's lightweight. So somebody had added weight and uh, sound deadening um, uh, material, which I'll show you in a second. Um, the suspension is very interesting. It's a three-point suspension and it works surprisingly very well. I just tested uh, a record with a half inch at least or maybe a little more of warp and this thing tracks absolutely fantastically without skipping anything. Um, the cartridge is CG7700. Um, and it sounds very, very well. There's some like a little scratch here. Nevertheless, the arm is straight. Um, not much dust on it. Uh, the platters on on those things are very interesting. They are skinny. And the platter sits on top of the main platter. This platter is made out of plastic. It has the anti-static contact points. As you can see, they added the sound deadening material to it. Um, all of them, I would say, have a slight warp it's not a warp, it's, it's a slight wobble in the, uh, the platter. So when the platter moves, let me demonstrate. When the platter moves, because the, uh, the main platter, the small platter is made out of plastic, it gives you, as you can see, it gives you that um, wobbly effect. It's not drastic, but I want you to know it's in all of them. All of those models have the same um, imperfection. It's not an issue because it doesn't affect the way it plays music which is good.
naturally if, if it would affect it they would never uh, sold any turntables now this turntable is not designed to put a heavy weight on it um, you would have to if you use record weights you don't want to put big kahuna like this because see what's happening this is normal so this is 250 grams weight and it squashes it down too far so the maximum weight you should use on it would be like 150 grams or use those record clamps which don't have weight but they clamp the record onto the spindle um well all we can do is well, press play and it should be playing it sorry the record this is a test record and it's uh, very scratched and static -y. so anyway I'm talking through this because we don't want any conflicts with with the copyrights uh, um, I'm tapping I'm tapping into the plinth and as you can see it has a fantastic sound isolation let me turn it down so we don't have any infringements on uh, copyrights so look at this it's absolutely great there's no sound transmission from the plinth whatsoever the suspension is so good anyway to show you some other functions okay let's say we're gonna elevate the arm put the record down again until uh, it gets to the end of the record and I'll show you it shuts off and comes back to where it's supposed to come back which is the base generally it's a very good looking uh, turntable uh, I think it's worth having So here's uh, the image of the tone arm. Tone arm weight is kind of squarish. And uh, now it goes to the end of the record and flawlessly comes back and turns it off. There we go okay so let me take this record off i'm locking the tone arm okay here's the lock as you can see this is this uh, suspension is very sensitive but it works so well it's unreal Okay, as far as some, uh, some modifications, they've increased the general weight and uh, inside the, uh, the table and they added some sound deadening strips to the bottom. And uh, this, this is a hefty weight I'm gonna say maybe uh, 15 pounds something like that you 
again let me demonstrate the wobble of the platter for you so when you buy it you won't be petrified I'm sure you can see it. So I I pin I pinpointed the blemishes on that. I think generally in comparison to to what's available right now in this model turntable this is um, fairly clean and uh, works very well oh um, let me turn the amp up so you can hear if there's any noise this is Mar my Marantz amp turned up halfway 50 percent and there's no hum there's no mm, any kind of distortion 